yellow clip lifters, yellow seven ones. Brand new cradles. You put the only, uh, only the one. Yeah, I well. got the zinc. Uh, see that there? Yep. They do that on people for the DIDs. I've got certain way they go for those lifters that look like valve springs on top. Very expensive lift on it. So everyone deletes them. <laughs> I'm gonna put the plate on first. Okay. Gasket. Okay. Pretty easy. Gasket. There. That's where your oil pressure switch is. These things are gonna be blocked off. Oh, yep. But you're gonna put an O-ring on them. See the O-rings there? Yep. They come factory like that. If it wasn't DA, if it was DAD, you would have solenoids up here, which activate these and drop the oil pressure, stops the lifter, or happens and stops the lifter from working. What do you mean by DOD? Um, you're cruising down the highway, it's for economy. Yep. And it kills four cylinders, so it kills one, two, one, two cylinders like that. Oh, right. And you're running a six litre on four cylinders. Tight on the fuel. You get nine <laughs> litres per 100 k's. Jeez, that's actually really good. Cool. That's what they're saying to me, they get out of it. So, cylinder heads, the cylinder heads I'm going to use were done by GM Motorsport. They've been CNC ported from the blokes. They're a brand new pair of heads, brand new castings. Can you see the port, the way they're done? Oh yeah. Really, really smooth. It's rough, but smooth. Compared to the other ones, really, really rough, chewed out. New springs, you can see they put new springs on it, they're a heavy Oh yeah, heavy duty. A <clears throat> D-bowl style exhaust. That's pretty up and up, pretty big actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that. yeah. I love it. Look at it around the valve guy too, huh? That's and unreal. they put the brand new valves. Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, sexy, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> Relax, man. I know. I know. <laughs> now I'm gonna put uh, head gaskets, obviously. Front, right on the bloody thing. God's sakes, man, don't put them back to front. Six litre, 6.2 litre, believe it or not. Same head gaskets. Always catches on the floor. Oh, there you go. Easy. Let me throw the first one on. Now, the heads, the way they go on, don't you see this? In the back here? Yep. It's blocked off. So this, this one goes towards the back, which this makes it the driver's side of the head. There we go, Jim, look at that. Yeah, yeah motorsport. Yeah, good on you, boys. I like, good job, man. Aussie blokes. Yeah, man, Australian company. Support the Australian companies. Well, so we're gonna throw this on. One. Two, yeah. This um, ARP stuff, this. The bolts themselves, the washers actually, they smooth one side and rough on the other. Oh yeah. Goes down. Well, the rough goes down the rough side down. The rough side down. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tighten them down by with a gun, hard, I'm going to loosen them and then we're going to tighten them again and tension them. The seat. idea would do that to seat the gasket. Yep. To make I've, sure. I've seen a few of them now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Tension wise. Fifty eighty. Two steps. That's it. Fifty eighty. Fifty eighty it is. Stuff in the middle, obviously. As you fifty. There you go. It would be good fun to yeah. drive one of these. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll take a break, Sam. I'll tighten up the other side. Where are you getting there? It's oh, already there, man, isn't it? That looks good, man. Heavy duty push rods. Expensive. But it is what it is, huh? Eh? Needs it. Yep. 
This motor's not going to be driven normally. One, one short, why? Is it? No, yes. Got it. <laughs> oh god, I was going to say, that's supplied me one short. Alright, now. Seen these before. Mm -hmm. One there. One there. Why am I putting that on? Uh, that I don't know. Mm. What is the reasoning for that? Is a Permatex? Permatex, because it goes into uh, the inlet port. When that port about that big, big oh. ports, big ports, right? We're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. We're not mucking around here. It's not a game. Offset rocker. On there. Straight rocker. I'm going to get my gun sort of starting. So we're not be here all night, you know? Otherwise, I'm going to get very tired of the water. So, this is about it, man. Anyway, you, you don't want to see me uh, put the other rockers on, do you? No, I think we got the picture. Yeah, you got the picture, haven't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, these things have got a training kit. Ah, uh, we've... Yeah, yep, bushes. Yep, yep, yep. Instead of those little rollers, so push two little brass bushes in there, a new shaft. Yep. And clips. And it stops it from um, falling apart. And you've got big pressure on it. I reckon we'll call it a night, man. What do you reckon? Sounds good. That's no? our motor virtually complete for fast track. Yep. And um, we have a go at it, aren't we? We're going to go for a drive. I was going to say, don't forget, if anyone wants to get a fast track, ask to drive mixed motor. Yes, <laughs> see if they let it go. Yeah, see, yeah, see if you can blow see if it up. I'll let you. Go on, there you go. man. No. They're in Adelaide, Sydney, and Melbourne. Sandown, Melbourne, man. Yep. You can go through the track there. And, uh, and yeah, have fun, man. Awesome. Yeah, take Thanks, it Mick. easy. See you later.